The Oklahoma State University baseball program has seen growth and success like few other schools in the country. This is a success story created by head coach Gary Ward and his staff, but written by the players, talented individuals who came to Stillwater, Oklahoma to author a dream and see that dream come true. Gary Ward took over the Oklahoma State baseball program in May of 1977. The turnaround began immediately. The 1981 team was Coach Ward's first full recruiting class. It was a mature, talented ball club looking for respect. The early season went as expected, winning ball games and developing prospects. Jim Traber was one of the catalysts of the ball club. The Maryland sophomore led the team in hitting with an average of 396 with 11 home runs and 69 runs batted in. Traber had 26 doubles for a team that established a league record with 169 doubles. Oklahoma State had a first-round draft choice in 1981 in Darren Dilks. The Ontario, California left-hander set a school record with 153 strikeouts. He was also outstanding at the plate, hitting 336 with nine home runs. The Montreal Expos made Dilks the 18th player taken in the 1981 draft. Happy at the moment. Just four years into his tenure as Cowboy head coach, Ward led Oklahoma State to its second Big 8 Conference Championship. Oklahoma State won the postseason tournament and advanced to NCAA regional play with a 3-1 win over Nebraska in the championship game. University on the Titans' own turf in the regional tournament. Oral Roberts was tournament tested and experienced, but the Cowboys responded to the challenge and won the regional by beating host Oral Roberts twice. An ultimate goal had been accomplished, and the 1981 dream had taken shape. It was on to Omaha and the College World Series. Omaha, the Cowboys sent a message. Oklahoma State had a program to be recognized. OSU beat South Carolina, Miami, and Arizona State. losing to Texas, Oklahoma State played for the national championship against Arizona State. OSU finished second in the nation in 1981, but Oklahoma State's performance would not only change their own philosophy in recruiting, it changed the way the nation would look at Oklahoma State in the future. The Cinderella Cowboys now knew their way to Omaha, and they would be back. I think the most exciting uh, time of our coaching uh, career at Oklahoma State probably was at that moment. Uh, leaving Omaha, we realized that everything we had said for three or four years to uh, all the groups and posse clubs and et cetera we had talked to was about getting back to Omaha, about becoming a national power. And it had happened. Uh, the predictions and all the promises had come through. And now we could change the recruiting philosophy. And as we climbed on the Greyhound, headed back to Stillwater, a uh, young assistant, Tom Holliday, and I talked and were excited about the fact that we had had to recruit so hard and that talent was limited. Now we were exposed nationally. Uh, people recognized Oklahoma State. Young people out there in New Jersey or California would know who we were, and uh, we could change our recruiting philosophy and go to a higher level of talent. And there was excitement throughout, excitement when you got back to Stillwater and throughout the summer. Uh, we had a coaching staff and a, and a community that was aroused by Cowboy baseball, and the excitement was already started toward uh, the 82 season. <laughs> 